All right, hi all. So this is going to be my big voice reveal video, I guess. Hopefully uh, no big shock to your system. All right, I'm going to start out by giving thanks to all of you out there who have watched, liked, commented, and or subscribed to my channel. I'm going on uh, 250 subs now, which is, yeah, it's not much, I guess, but <laughs> never even thought I would do YouTube. So it's, uh, I'd like to thank all of you first. Now I'm going to address uh, Sephiroth's Genova stacks and why uh, most people are using him wrong. Since I don't want to troll anybody who just came for this. But afterwards I would like to give some shout outs and thanks to some of the people in the DFFOO community that I've been honored to know along the way. And uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So my Sephiroth is obviously purple and uh, I have him stripped down to his bare chested beauty. I'm a little triggered that uh, they didn't give the one-winged angel costume, but I guess a shirtless Sephiroth will have to do for now. I'm just going to give you the TLDR answer right away. Just pay attention to my Max Brave. It's at 25,224. And I'm just going to use uh, Fervent Blow to start off. I removed the uh, Fervent Blow boost passive so that his Max Brave doesn't change on uh, using Fervent Blow. So you can see that it's at 5 stacks of Genova, but it's only at 25,224 still, so nothing changed. Now I'm going to use Octo Slash, and then now I'm at 29,669 Max Brave. So this is actually his full potential outside of the Reunion stacks, so my Sephiroth at 5 stacks of Genova. So this is the ideal way to get Sephiroth at full power. Now for those of you wondering why and thinking like, oh, maybe I should just uh, Octo Slash first because that gives me 5 stacks right away, doesn't it? Yes, it does, but uh, it only gives you 5 stacks of Genova, but it doesn't give you the 5 stacks of Max Brave and Attack. How his skill passives work is that the Attack and Max Brave is tied to his skill 2. So if you can see here, he grants himself one level of Genova. So that's what he's given to himself right away. And then it grants one additional level of Genova after he breaks or attacks a target inflicted with break. So technically, all Octo Slash does is gives you the Max Brave an attack based on Genova level upon its use. So when he uses it, he will give himself one more, meaning if you start with three stacks, it will only give you the four stacks of Genova Max Brave and attack worth. And then the fifth stack will be given after it determines whether the target is broken or not. So let's just go see that. So that right now I'm at 29669 Brave, and that's after using two skills. Let's see how he goes if we do the order people normally do. Alright, my gems is pretty decent because uh, I barely pull, so... Just a lot of hoarding here, but not as much as some other people that shall be unnamed for now. Alright, just start. Here, let me show you my uh, passives removed. Oops. It's like I've never played this game before. So I did remove the Fervent Blow boost, which makes his max break for one turn. So that just removes any confusion. Oops, why did I just equip it? I am an idiot. Alright. Yeah, no friend or... Hey, Soul's on. Well, we'll talk about him later. Alright, we'll bring Soul. Alright, so my max rate before was 29,669, right? So, let's go with Octo Slash. So this should give me 5 stacks and 29,669, right? We shall see. Nope. Goes 27,446. And then it gives me my 5th stack right there. As you can see, it went from 4 to 5. And now I'm only at 27,446 max brave. So to get actually the 29,669 I had before, I actually have to Octo Slash again. Because if you can see, a Fervent Blow will do nothing. And then this Octo Slash will get me into my 29669. So that's the reason why you don't want to start with the Octo Slash first, because it only gives you 4 stacks worth of attack and max brave. It still gives speed up and speed down, and still gives the 5 stacks worth. But the game ties the attack and max brave to the uh, skill 2. That's why it works so funny like that. 
All right, I just wanted to uh, say thanks to all those who stayed until the end of the video, and uh, I know I'm just a very small-time uh, YouTuber, but it's been really enjoyable. And I wanted to thank all those that have come by and been a part of this. I've been playing this game for about one and a half years now, probably a little over, and I've been doing vids for about maybe half a year only, ever since uh, Renoa's release, who I'm very excited to purple soon, by the way. And it's mainly just for fun because I, I love this game and I just wanted to help people out. So I was just doing the content anyway, so I might as well record, right? But I wanted to give a big shout out to uh, Soul DFFOO because him and the Broadway scene actually, both of them big time content creators in our community, but also the nicest people. And uh, they were pretty uh, early encouragers of me to keep making vids back when I first started. Uh, Broadway Sam was actually one of the first content creators I used to watch. I'm sure many of you the same because he's like, the big granddaddy of all GL. So big shout out to him. And then Soul, of course, is now a mega star as well. And I used to watch him before his big blow up, but he's the reason for this video in the first place. I asked Soul to share with his uh, subscribers about this Sephiroth stacking mechanic because I kept seeing everyone using S2 first. And uh, I know I'm just a small voice and I wanted uh, him to uh, you know, get out there to his, uh, I don't know, almost 5,000 people now. and probably more who watch his videos, so I just wanted to uh, let him do it. But then he said uh, he wanted me to do it instead and he would share my vids, so I appreciate him for always, he's always giving me shout outs and things like that and he's always been urging me to do commentary actually. I've always considered it because I would love to go over kits and explain my decisions during runs and when I make a mistake, I can also point it out. But let me just give you a quick reason why I haven't been, is mainly because I <laughs> I upload and I edit my videos at work. <laughs> That's not the greatest place to be recording my runs, at least with voice anyways, so. I wanted to give a shout out to other communities in DFFO land that I'm a part of that make this game that much better. First off, uh, the TCC podcast with uh, Mino, Mark, and Kreese. They do a w every week for the most part and they make the best DFFO podcast in the business pretty much. Everyone on the TCC Discord as well, and the mods there with me, they also contribute great things to the community. Um, I can just quickly list them off. Heroli, J.A, Shara, Quetz. Uh, Quetz is the Materia Bot creator actually, so all of those Materia Bot commands is from the genius Quetz. And also Macknell, called Arms Creator, Strafe. And he just blew up these past couple months into like a megastar content creator himself, so congrats to him. And then uh, Ink Welder, of course, he's part of the Tonberry Troop, which you might have heard of. That includes uh, Teleute, Vainovus, and, and Dreamy. They pretty much make a graphic for every event, and it's like the sexiest graphics in all the land, pretty much. And you've seen their work, I'm sure. They make it for every new character kit, and it's really helpful to many people, including myself sometimes. Sometimes I'm too lazy to look it up myself, I just go to their graphics. And then also... Mass Lentil Games, he's a great streamer and uh, someone I catch on stream every now and then and uh, his Discord is actually one of the first Discords I joined outside of Main Chord. And speaking of Mass Lento, yeah, everyone on his Discord and Soul's Discord and TCC Discord, there's just too many people that I can't possibly go through and list you all out, but thanks to everyone there, you all have been great. And let me give some shout outs to other content creators, big and small, that help me or I work with and that they just do great work just in general. So. Rem from the Decidia database, uh, Black Cloud, he makes the GL entropy list. Amateresu, he's a good friend and uh, does a lot of content videos. Lids87 as well, he does great videos. He does JP and GL. Games Hugo, Mayu Fantasy, Jab1000, Furian, Homage, Charlotte, Ultima, uh, who else? Uh, even Respona or Res. Yeah, I should mention her since even though she just recently started YouTube like a week ago, she has more subscribers than me now. A rising DFFO star for sure. And also was actually one of the first people I was explaining this Sephiroth stacking issue to, so you should definitely check out any of these people out. They do great content, they do clears to help you out, they also do any anything you need pretty much, you can get it from one of these people. And uh, I'm probably forgetting some people, so... Don't kill me if I forgot you, but you know, that's why I just mentioned the discords in general, so you're you're at least in there. I'll leave all the links to everyone's channels below. They're all amazing and this community is amazing. I just want to thank everyone again who stayed and listened to my long ass ramble. And uh, yeah, I can't say I can do many commentary bits moving forward, but I'll see every now and then maybe. But until next time, just uh, hopefully you enjoy the bids I make and see you around. Thanks again.